Hello, it's Julia Lucas again. Welcome to my Instagram slash YouTube channel, depending on where you are. I know I just did a video, but today I wanted to review a completely different kind of deck called the Canis Arcani. Hopefully I'm saying this right. It is a independent deck on Etsy. It's by Taylor Bryn. Um, Holquist Todd. Um, this deck, I got it off Etsy. Like I said, it's an indie deck and it is a dog deck. So this deck, I, I really like reviewing indie decks because most of them don't have any kind of review. Um, this is a great deck and I'll talk about why I ordered this deck over um, other mass marketed dog decks because I'm a big dog person. I've always been a dog person. When I was younger, I looked up all the breeds. I still like watching agility courses and love my dog shows. This deck features a ton of different breeds um, and it's in black and white, which is actually one of the reasons I got it. It's my only black and white deck because I generally prefer colors, but this deck, I think um, Taylor did a really good job in choosing to use black and white. So this deck, it comes in this box, which I'm probably not going to keep. I have this cute little bag. And it's a very sturdy box. And it was originally a Kickstarter deck. And she actually has another Kickstarter deck for cats. So if you're not a dog person, but you like the aesthetics of this deck, there is a cat deck on Kickstarter. And I'll hashtag her. Um, nope, just started storming. Sorry, got distracted for a second. And I will hashtag her. If you want to go um, support her Kickstarter deck, but you can also buy the dog deck on Etsy and it's, it's really worth it. So let's get into the cards. I'm not going to go over the whole deck because, you know, I don't really like sitting through long ass deck reviews and you know, it's nice to keep some of them for a surprise. So these are the back of the cards. It's a really, really pretty like rose and it's actually pretty detailed you know I think that with black and sorry I keep looking at the window with black and white it, it could come across as simple but it's really not she has like the little stars um the edges this is just this is just the major arcana the edges are gilded in silver and I will warn you it's when we first get it it it, it like comes off as glitter but you know it's an indie deck um but it's pretty good quality card stock it's not too thick and not too thin. Easy to shuffle. Okay, so the first card is the full Boston Terrier. So I'm gonna try and go through what each dog breed is. So these cards are almost exact replicas of Rider Waite. It doesn't come with a booklet, um, but you don't need one if you know Rider Waite and you can just look up any book on Rider Waite because um, it's like, like I said, it's an example, a replica, and then the dogs have to be little clothing and everything. So that's the full. The magician is an Afghan hound. So it looks like he has hair. And they're like holding things with their paws. But yeah, this isn't a cute deck. It's a really beautiful deck. But it's not a cutesy deck. Um, here's the High Priestess. I want to say this is one of those like ancient Middle Eastern African Egyptian, like an Ibizi hound. She has a little moon. She has the little pillars. And this is one of the cards that shows, even though this is a Chihuahua, it's not a cutesy card. Because what the black and white does is that it bounces out any possible corniness or over cutesiness. You can kind of see that in the background because, you know, dog decks that I've seen can sometimes be kind of cutesy. I think this is a Great Dane. This is the Emperor. It's a good breed for the Emperor. The Hierophant looks like a Visla. Visla? It's a Hungarian dog. So this is perfect for if you're a dog nerd, I'm a total dog nerd. That also could have been a Weimar Rammer. Actually, I think this is based on Morgan Greer, which is based on Rider weight. So I correct myself for that. The Lovers. Oh, 
the chariot, which is a beagle. So for all your you beagle lovers. Justice. I want to say this is a pit bull. Or one of those bully breeds. For those of you who don't know, bully breeds are... It's not meant to be a judgment. It's it's breeds of dogs. It's a British thing. Dogs that originated in Britain that were there to fight or guard against wolves. I, yeah, that wasn't that eloquent. Here's another example how the gray and black scale, the hermit, you know, it's a dog and a cloak, which could be corny, but it, because it's in black and white and it kind of gives this feeling of a very, very kind of somber feeling of expanse. Wheel of Fortune. Strength. This is a little, I think this is, I forget the name of this little dog. I know, I've seen pictures of this breed, but I just love that it's on this lion. Like these, This is a really small, small breed on a lion, so that's perfect. The Hanged Man. It's like a little leash around him. Death. This definitely looks like one of those ancient Egyptian breeds. Um, in fact, that might be a new, like the breed that Anubis is based on. Again, you know, it has the roses, the gray scale. It makes it look like it has a little scythe. It makes it look more serious as opposed to cutesy. Okay. I want to say this is a Nufi or one of those big ass mountain dogs. It's not a St. Bernard because the St. Bernard comes later. Temperance. I love its little angel wings. The devil looks kind of like a Pomeranian. The tower. That looks like some sort of um, hound, like an American hound hunting dog. Again, I can't I don't have the names of each breed in my head. Here's the St. Bernard, the star. He has a little barrel in his chin, so definitely the St. Bernard. And that's pretty good because it's guidance. And, you know, St. Bernards are, um, if you get lost in a mountain, they'll guide you out, basically. So they're bred to do. I love the moon card. Again, it, it gives the air of mystery by using gray and black. It kind of holds on to that seriousness. The sun. And it does, like like the lion, I want to say this is Shiba Inu, it does have other animals in it because it's like an exact replica, a replica of the Morgan Greer deck. Judgment. You got a little, little doggy family. And then the world. So I am going to do some of my favorite minor arcana cards just to, just to show how she captures that. Okay, I'm going to start with the cups. This is the seven of cups. I do like the little puppy in the cup. Um, that looks like probably a German shepherd or one of the shepherd dogs. Eight of cups. This is a great card to show how this still captures the darkness in some of the cards, the shadow aspect. This is the Ten of Cups. You can see the puppies playing there. Four of Wands. If you look closely, you can see the little dogs celebrating at the bottom. Love this dog in his armor. This is the um, Nine of Wands. He looks very determined and resilient. The Queen of Wands. I want to say this is a. What is that Mexican hairless dog? I don't know how to say its name. I can't. Like it's it's some. Um, it's like an Aztec name. So. 
Oh, I think that little dog that was on the lion strength, I think that's a Chinese crested. This one, it's that, it's a hairless, that Mexican hairless dog, which name I can't pronounce. I think this is a greyhound. This is the king of wands. So now we're into the pentacles. This is the five of pentacles, which is about kind of, it's a um, scarceness, struggle. Oh. It looks like he has a little bandage. His mother has just got her little, little veil on. Bull Terrier as the Knight of Pentacles. That's a pretty good breed for that car. And I had to do this. My favorite dog that I will never own. Basset Hound. Because, so I've pet sat Basset Hounds before. They are not dogs for my lifestyle. I want a dog I can jog with, do agility courses with. That's not a Basset Hound. Basset Hounds are stubborn. They aren't lazy, but they're stubborn. They do what they want. Um... I tried to take him for a walk, and at, at several points of the walk, he just stood there. And it, I don't know if you've ever tried to move a basset hound. They're low to the ground, but they're actually considered large breeds because they're big body dogs. They just have these short little legs. So what that means is they're like 70 pound dogs with this low center of gravity. And you're just sitting there trying to push them because you, you want to continue the walk. So, anyway. Now we're into the swords, the five of swords. Again, you can get the kind of idea of loss and um, grief. You know, it's a it's a victory that is bittersweet where someone lost. I have a hard time describing the five of swords. Six of Swords, you're leaving sorrow behind. You're kind of moving on to a new place. Again, the grayscale works so well. It makes this deck work as a shadow deck, too, because of that. I feel like this is a click lie. Which look like miniature huskies. Seven of Swords. A little trickster. And then I had to include a corgi. I had to include the corgi card. I might own a corgi. Like, I, I would get, like, a, my next dog, because Maya doesn't like dogs. People will probably get mad at me. I'd probably get a purebred. Um, one thing people need to think about is if we got, if people completely stopped getting purebreds, dogs would go extinct, because we, we neuter and spade all our dogs. Um, the reason being, um, I want to do agility, and I want to jog with this dog, and getting a purebred will guarantee that I will be able to do that. Now, I will also probably get a shelter dog at the same time. Um, but, you know, there's this, this huge, um, not, our, the first dog I ever got was from a breeder, my family, when I was a kid. So not all breeders are bad, you know, you have to do your research, but I would definitely get like a full bred Border Collie, Australian Shepherd or Sheltie. Um, and then I would get a shelter dog and then maybe I'd get a Corgi and have three dogs. Corgis can do agility. I've seen them do agility because they are herding dogs. They, <laughs> they are cheap. Um, that's what they're bred to do. But in terms of jogging for 40 to 50 minutes, no. That, that, that's no. But this is the Ten of Swords. And you can actually see the blood on the bottom, but I don't think people would be cool with having tens of, Ten of Swords in a little corgi. Anyway, so that is the Canis Arcana deck. A great deck. I highly recommend you get it. It's on, on Etsy. I will try and remember to put the link in the description of the video. Thank you again.